what can I say? Amazing, stunning, elegant, beautiful, drop dead gorgeous. But that's enough about me, I'm really old school, too bad. We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Christopher and Anne Marie. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. They will each give their consent to the other. They will join hands and exchange solemn vows. And in a token of this, they will each give and receive a ring. Who is it that brings this woman to be married to this man? I do. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Christopher and Anne-Marie have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by joining of hands and by giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Christopher, you may kiss Anne-Marie, your new wife. Myself and my wife, I'd like to thank you all for coming. From all over the UK and Ireland, we know the sacrifices and the cost to you all, so with all humbleness and humility, I say that we welcome you here today to celebrate our big day. Just remember, there's no strangers here today, it's just friends you haven't met yet. So, get cracking, have a good day. My number one wife, Anne-Marie, no amount of words I possess in me can translate to you how much I love you. Um, you're thoughtful, caring, considerate, loving nature, overwhelms me constantly. As a mother to Stanley and Albert, I've never witnessed anyone like you. Honestly, you're incredible and they're so lucky to have you, as am I. I treasure you, I honour you and I respect you and thank you for marrying me. So thank you so much for absolutely everything you do. You make me always want to be, to a, uh, be a better man than I am. What else can I say? Only thank you again. Um, and ask all our family and friends to join me for a toast to my beautiful wife. Stand up, please, if you don't mind. To my beautiful wife, Anne Marie.